Okay, let's see if I can shoot a little video of this system, a uh, Visonic amplifier, and then the subwoofers. I've got them flipped around, driving into the back of the seats. I just did this. This is now I had it originally. I had it shooting towards the back of the trunk. Um, this is a sealed dual 12-inch uh, divided enclosure. It's all um, a set that comes from these guys. The Sonic. It's a thousand watt peak system and it's a 500 watt RMS. So let me see if I can show you the, the wiring here. So I have, they have the power here and so I have a 10 gauge uh, 12 volt and uh, and ground and I have that running directly directly to the battery and you can see here connected directly to the to the negative and, and over here uh, over here it's connected to the positive terminal and then Here's the uh, here's the inline fuse. It's a 30 amp max uh, fuse line, and I've got a 25 amp fuse in there, and uh, this 10 gauge wire is uh, can, is rated for 30 amps running, and then there's a there's a 20 amp fuse in the back of the amplifier. Right, that's the power part of it. And then the only thing to add is there's a remote connection on the power. This small gauge blue wire that's tapped into this. It's tapped into this point here. And so I suspect that is uh, where there's uh, 12 volts uh, when the key is on. I've not put a meter on this, but I suspect that that turns on and Solenoid in here, or something that uh, powers up the amplifier only when the key is on. Okay, so I think maybe basically okay. This is an improvement from what it was. It was a lighter gauge wire, and so I've increased the the wire gauge, and I've also shortened the length of it. But it still it was mounted in the, in this area here, uh, mounted vertically, and wire wrapped, uh, cable tied into into this compartment here next to the CD player and uh, ideally it would be closer but uh, the battery is just here so that's how this is configured and all right let's uh, let's look at the speaker wiring then. and this is important because this is where we get into the bridge configuration so I wanted to bridge it because uh, basically I understand it's the same signal going to both and so rather than having it set as a dual channel uh, setting 500 watts will set it up to be bridged. All right, so in the bridged, in the bridge setup, it's dark here. I can't can't keep this lit up properly. All right, so in the speaker setup here, okay, so I don't think I can make this visible but uh, the wiring is a is a dual channel so you've got a left and a right but there's also a mark for uh, left positive and right negative for to do the bridge connection and that's what I've done here and I've also increased the gauge of the wire here from what the, the installer had it this is still probably not big enough but it is uh, 12 gauge now and it just runs this little distance to the back of the subs and so what I did is bring bring it in uh, from the left I can't even read this myself but this is a left positive here comes out to the positive here and then uh, the negative of the speaker number one uh, goes back to the to the uh, 
to the to the um, right negative the right negative connection right. and so um, I think I think from what I've read the way you'd wire this is you'd, you'd actually bring another set of wires off these terminals and so there'd be another set of wires coming from there and come over here to the second to the second uh, speaker but what I did is just uh, connect a 10 gauge wire and jumper it from the first to the second so simply simply um, the positive terminal coming from the amplifier and then jumper it over to the positive of the second speaker and then the negative again is a 10 gauge wire that I've, I use for also for the power and, and it goes over to the negative so basically it wires these in parallel and so I don't know what I'm doing but just from what I've been reading and then I understand these to be 4 ohm speakers so this would produce 2 ohm impedance that the amplifier would see the load the amplifier would see which uh, should mean that this thing would run at a thousand watt RMS at that point um, so something is wrong because the amp is getting super hot and shutting down thermal overload not blowing fuses but but having a thermal overload the when 